Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So, what do I say now? My name is Catherine. I live in Melbourne, Australia with my husband and our very large family. And on my channel, I kind of like looking off camera at random things on the street. I like sometimes being worried about the background behind me. And I also like to show you that even if you have 10 kids or one kid or 25 or none, and you're, especially if you're a homemaker and you're home all the time, I am here to show you that little by little, I'm gonna claw my way to a really a home that I like the look of. And now that I've changed my shirt to something I feel more comfortable in, let me tell you what I'm gonna do today. So today is Sunday, and on Sunday, we just kinda chill out and do whatever we want. But I also have so many things that I wanna do around the house and that I wanna get done. But I also kinda of wanna be here as an encouragement to other people to show them that the way we get things done is with some kind of plan and little by little and just going for it and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, I have, let me just tuck my shirt into my skirt because I'm a fashion guru. I have a space in my lounge room that is pretty much the only area in like my whole house. I know, it's crazy where I can display stuff because I love thrifting and I love finding treasures and stuff like that. And after we packed away all the Christmas stuff, my shelf that my husband made and the one square shelf thing that I thrifted are empty. And you can also see that like the walls don't have tons of things on them because I've mostly painted the lounge room. <laughs> And I really love that simple, clean, minimal look, but it's the challenge. I like, I like thrifting as well. So in today's video, I am going to go through all of my treasures. I'm going to decide on the things that I want to keep and then I think I will actually use. I'm going to see if anything needs to be repaired or upscaled upsized i don't know the term recycled no upcycled is it upcycled so yes let me show you the various locations that i have squirreled away things in this room then we'll go downstairs where the bulk of my decor stuff is and then together i can make some hard and brave decisions and by the way guys I'm, I'm really i'm just joking i know that picking the decor that i want to keep and stuff like that isn't like a big deal to a lot of other people but you know you might like treasures and stuff as well and you may collect all these things be thinking about maybe that one day place that you live in or that one day miraculous time where you have fully renovated beautiful everything I don't like going into debt for things, so I'm not gonna get a loan just to be able to renovate my home. I'm really trying to show people that we can find joy in the mundane, we can find joy in our simple, modest homes, and we can still make them look nice, and hopefully we can also like upgrade on how we look as well. So, Whew. yes. First stop is in here is wheat bags and jewelry and glass birds and trinkets and jewelry boxes and ooh, ooh, what's this? Money? <laughs> I don't think that's my money. I think that's one of my kids' money. Anyhow, candles, random things, thrifted things, more candles and stuff, and go on and on. Who even knows? I mean, I don't even really know what to do with this, but it's, it uh, kind of feels nice. 
you do it in like a certain way, get rid of double chins. And I don't even have a bathroom that's really that beautiful or has that much storage. I don't have like a vanity area. It's just, this is what I have. So let me get out things that I think should not be living in these drawers. sneak peek into a very long and overdue and heavily procrastinated about video that I need to do because I need to organize this part of my life and I don't even know why I do this I think it's like as a mom it's like where can I just quickly put something so that I don't lose it I put it in my drawers paper stuff in drawers is a bad idea so that's i'll show you why why do i do this and why do i have so many pairs of socks <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? So, you'll just have to subscribe if you also shove bits of paper in your drawers and then you're like, why, why do I do this? And I only showed you one drawer. It's, I think it's in the next drawer down, which should just be t-shirts, but evidently I also need tax receipts and other rubbish and cards and, uh, I don't know. But today, it's like the funner stuff. It's the decor. I even have stuff in here. And I just, as I got it out, I could see in the, the hole of the other side, I have non-decor stuff in here as well, which is ridiculous. see this problem I have I go thrifting and I find this stuff that I love and then the reality hits of like eh, what am I gonna do with it and like the house has changed a lot we don't have the hobby room anymore where I used to have my sewing machine permanently set up and don't have a lot of things on the walls and I am asking myself, like, why do I have all this stuff? And then I think it's only like, you know, four things to hang on the wall, maybe five or six or seven. And I think the fact that I painted the lounge room whilst also having my 10 children and I homeschool and all the rest of it, it's very challenging having small children around you all the time and trying to paint even though they're great kids. Like I didn't have any paint buckets tip over or whatever, but you know, there's always something to stop for changing a nappy or doing something to do with feeding people or cleaning something up or some other responsibility. I think I got to the point where once I finally had painted like the big walls that I just thought I never want to put another hole in the wall ever again. I do have 3M hook type things, but a lot of them, I think because I'm frugal, I'd like take the 3M hook off the wall and save the little hook, but the sticky thing was dead. Well, where can you just buy the sticky things so that you're not rebuying more hooks with the sticky things? It just seems so wasteful. I'd like to just buy like a packet of the sticky things. I used to use this little French looking tray down when I had a hobby room and things to put on it and surfaces to put this on 
and I don't want to just get rid of it. And I've gotten rid of so much stuff, guys. So, 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 so much. Gifts from my daughter that are like seasonal. Obviously, it's not autumn, so we'll put that up in the autumn, autumnness. This I love. My daughter made it for me. It only stands up. Keeping that as well, but I want to use that now. But where? I don't know. This is another French looking... French? I still really like it. I can hang it up. What season? I don't know. Cat stuff. My daughters love cats. I have had this since my oldest was little, so I've had this for like 15 years and I still really love it. I don't know, is it like 80s, 90s? I don't care. Another thrifted find, it's hard to see. Maybe I should just hang these up again. A Royal Albert Blossom Time, quite sentimental. My grandmother's put it out. And I did keep my glasses in here and since I packed this away, my glasses haven't had a home. So it probably makes sense that I should just set it up again. So maybe we can do that as well. We can just set it up and make it look nice. A few, a few challenging things to challenge myself with. I feel challenged. One more friendly reminder that I can give you is that you can have a certain desire in your heart to have your house look a particular way or have certain amounts of things in them. But it's far more important to me to remind myself that I live with 11 other individuals and largely I'm kind of in charge. Like I can decide a lot of things, but sometimes just let your kids do different things they want to do. They want to put certain things up on the shelves and they're really into reading or something like that. And they're like a really lovely kid and they help you pack away and the rest of your house is totally organized and they, you know, is there that much harm in kind of just letting them have the shelf hung up with the stuff in it that they want to have in it? I don't know, maybe I learned these things in my old age, but I just kind of reckon I'll sort of miss it when they're gone. I'll miss seeing all the little cat things and the little jewelry boxes and the little tiny teddies all lined up and I'll miss the stuff hanging on the edge of the bed and the bunk bed won't even be here anymore because the kids will be growing up and they'll be gone. So that's for you to realize you're probably younger than me, right? Let's just pretend you're younger than me. And I'm giving you sage advice. Today is also a day off from making beds, which is why you should consider yourselves lucky that I show you the, what my house actually looks like on the day that I'm filming. Maybe part of it is I just don't have the time nor desire to like crazy clean up the house just so I can film something for five seconds. But the kids don't have to make their beds on Sunday. They get the day off. Let's hang up these things. Hang it up. Ta-da. Ta-da. It's okay. This has stuff in it, photographs. And now it has nothing in it. Do I like this gray color? No. Was it stupid that somebody put this gray color in our house? Yes. Are we very lazy for living here for 14 years and not painting it? 
No. I am now with Poise and Beauty going to go up here and do this. And then, whoa. And then, I'm going to do this. So instead of procrastinating forever, I just hung these two things up here and I hung up the plate there. I now realize it's an odd center. I care not. Do you want to come downstairs now and see the rest of the stuff and deal with more things? And then, hey, you might just be sitting there watching it and you've like totally done your whole house and you're relaxed and chilled and you don't need to do anything. So this must just be purely entertaining, maybe. Or your place is worse and I've like lit that fire beneath you or your place is similar or better or the same or I don't know. I'm procrastinating. But I know it'll be when I... Wow. English, Catherine. I know it will be better when I'm done. When I said whener, that was me saying the w from when and better. In case you're wondering how fast my brain and mouth go not in unison, that's what I was attempting to say. All right. We're now downstairs. I've looked around me and immediately seen a million different things to do, but we're just doing the day core. So I remind myself of that. <sighs> Why, Catherine? Why? I'm pretty confident we're gonna find fantasy self, aspirational clutter, indecision, things I'm sick of, things I forgot I owned, it's going to be a mixed bag and we forgive ourselves if we've previously had things that we did use and we liked and we no longer use them but we still have them we forgive ourselves we release ourselves from that guilt yeah okay let's have a look at the whole space and i immediately see some solutions which does kind of fill me with some form of hope Starting from on top of the printer, where things should not be on top of the printer. Why I've done this is probably because I wanted it out of the way. If you want something out of the way and you're just kind of shoving it wherever, it means you need to let it go. Or do something about it. So, this I recently-ish bought from a thrift store because I envisioned that I would do it up. Maybe... With a hope and a prayer, you will see this transform beyond 1991. Books, good intentions from like a year ago, stuff that is too tall for my storage drawer thing, sewing things, a side order of hanging garlic, and I don't know who did this, but someone dragged my bulk purchase of salt out from the cupboard down there. No bueno. I don't know why they did that, but that needs to go back in there. And yes, like you can see, the lighting is not fantastic, but we'll just work with what we've got. Decluttering. Declutter. The self that I am is good enough. I don't need to have a fantasy self because even if I did paint this after having it for like one or two years, where am I going to put it? So someone else can use this declutter. My books can go with my other books. That's like a brainwave. I just looked over at our like pile of deodorant. over there and I suddenly felt like I stank really bad 
maybe only medium bad. So, yeah. Little stand, a vase, and a screwdriver. Just call me MacGyver. I know there's a shadow. No. What can you do? Plus, I was being distracted again, wasn't I? I was starting to try to remove a TV mount from the wall. And I should be doing the decor. So, let's have a look at the drawer. This is the drawer. And this is my decor collection. Plus, other things that I realized I forgot about. So, I don't think I'll drag everything out. I think I'll have a look at everything that's in there and then actually have a very firm chat with myself as to whether or not I will use it. So, I have these like quilt things hanging on the wall where I've kind of sort of cheated and like clipped different things in the clip part. And I did read a book, I know a miracle, and it was Mrs. Polifax's book. And in the book, which I found on the side of the road, by the time I'd finished reading it, the book had totally fallen apart. But it had these pictures in them that I really, really like. So I cut them out and I put them on top of the drawer, which is no, not the ideal place. I did think that if I found from the thrift store, uh, like a frame that was this size, that I could actually put all of, all of the things in the one frame. And then when I wanted to switch it out, I could just open up the back of the frame and have the new thing. So that would be quite minimal of me, wouldn't it? Is everybody minimal or are they just kind of hiding their stuff in, in frames? Like this. This is my husband. This is so cute. And this thankfully can hang on the wall and be propped up. I have quite a number of frames. Again, hangs. So I, I have had these displayed upstairs before I painted. And then they came down here. I have this one. I also have badges that I got from thrift stores that I need to sew on our camp blanket. So these will actually move to a place where I will go, oh yes, I need to do this. Today is not that day. I feel like I've made some progress and I feel kind of like proud of myself because if you haven't seen my other videos and the other things that I get up to or have gotten up to, I first started decluttering kind of very aggressively in 2014. I was heavily pregnant with my seventh child and I was overwhelmed and I just didn't want to keep having stuff in my home that I was just shifting so I could clean a space and dusting and moving back. And whilst I still, in many respects, feel like we have a lot of stuff, and I know that comparing yourself to other people, like, oh, look how much stuff they have and they don't have, it's just, it's like a pointless exercise. I feel really proud of myself that I actually only had to move stuff to where they belonged and I didn't sort of have like declutter, 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 get rid of. The only thing that I'm getting rid of is this small little pack that I got from a shop that was closing down. It's filled with all these Christmassy things. I haven't done anything with it. And I didn't buy this just before Christmas 
just gone. It was the Christmas before. So I haven't used it. I could say goodbye. Honestly, 99.9% .9 of these things are all thrifted or were handed down from relatives. I have categories. So I used to have two of these drawer things that were filled to the absolute max. I now only have one. Up the back is all like glass items. So eBay, thrifted, inherited, garage sale, street find from my children's mouths. So glass, metal, street find, thrifted, thrifted, op shop, op shop, op shop these aren't even my dogs guys the frame came with these dogs i called jerry and mavis and i really love that mavis is wearing a flower crown and enjoying life these are like polymer clay things oh here's another wooden thing i'm gonna keep it down here so these are like polymer clay pottery-ish Everything is thrifted, guys. Everything. Even me. I'm from the thrift store. And then I have plastic, um, like, holder-upper things. They hold stuff up. My daughter... I found these on the side of the road, right? There were two of them. And my daughter did paint one. But the other one, she said, oh, I can't think of an idea. So, for now, lives down here until she thinks of an idea. And empty spaces. Wow. Don't be fooled. Because these things came from some of those places. The last thing that I have to organize is this. This I thrifted and it was up in my drawer. And somewhere along the way, I decided to make it a jumbled mess. Do I have a small jar? in my jar collection what i'm gonna do in here i have buttons and i have jewelry why did i do this why would i have a christmas earring in here and not with my jewelry i don't know This is amazing to me. This is the entirety of my button collection. There are some sentimental buttons in here. There are, there's a couple of bells. There's a couple of bells. But I used to have boxes. You know, like those containers with like the little com compartment things in them? I had boxes of them. I don't miss any of them. We're down to this small amount. This will go back upstairs. Leave them round for me to pick up. Read your words out loud. Hear your hearts all out. All I have left to say. You're leaving tonight. What do you want, baby boy? Sugar, sugar bumps is bad. What would be a good nickname for 22-year-old married for 18 years, 10 children, homeschooling, homemaker? Saggy chaps. No! One for a husband that wishes that he'd ever be a husband again. Military. I need no. I need a. I need help. You need help. Oh, now it says the battery's dead. <laughs> Crap. What is it? Well, I'm trying to look at this, and it said no, nothing to view. 
and then it suddenly said battery exhausted. <laughs> I was just trying to quickly have a look at... Is that your card though? Well, I think so, because yours is here with a B on it, 128 gig, and this one says 128 gig on it. Hmm. Do you know they're like more than $128? No, they're not. They're well, I looked them up and they were. They were like 160 bucks. Then that's a ripoff. Unless I fail with Googling, Googly Bear. I also tried <laughs> taking this TV mount off. Couldn't do that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Because my screwdriver is the wrong size. Do you have the right size screwdriver? <laughs> <laughs> saggy, saggy. Saggy chaps. Saggy chaps. The air conditioner is lovely. Oh, yeah. Just got the Getting a roast.